Hello. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. I'm Norma. And today, I'm going to do a wave. I have done them before, but I've never had one turn out okay or that I liked. But of course, you know, we never like our own stuff. Um, but I got all my blues picked out here with a little bit of white. I am going to do a light blue up here in the corner. So let me go over the colors with you so that I can, uh, you can uh, know which ones I'm, I'm working with. And I'm doing the um, light blue by Liquitex Basics right up here in the corner. And I might even try and be fancy and put some white in there. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I, I say I'm going to do this stuff and then I don't do it. But So then the next color I have is um, the Turquoise by Artist Loft. I figured that's a blue. And uh, Cerulean Blue, Artist Loft. This is a new color for me. I think that will brighten it up a little bit. Then I also have Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studios. Now... I do not know if I should use this or not because it is metallic and ocean waves aren't so but we'll see then I have some phalo blue artist loft and I have Payne's gray creative inspirations and some Prussian blue phalo by Amsterdam it's basically the same color. They look like they're navy blue, but um, I know that one is a little bit darker than the other one, so I thought it might be good to have a contrast. And this is Phalo Turquoise by Holbein. Now, I was going to use the Endenthrine Blue by Holbein, but it I don't know if you can tell that by the camera or not, but it looks really purple. And I don't know if it turns out purple or not, but look, look there. So does that help? It does look purple. So I, I decided I wouldn't use that, but I am going to use the phalo turquoise. And I have a little bit of that in a cup when I mixed. I mixed a little bit too much and it didn't fit in there. So... Um, I may just dump this or I may just wait and put it in the in the bottle when I'm done. So I don't have any idea how I should do this or what um, pattern of colors. If I should use the blues first. But you know what? Um, when I watch Molly do it, I don't think she has a real a definite pattern for her colors so I am going to just do it on a wing and a prayer if you want to know what that looks like stay tuned because this <laughs> is a wing and a prayer so I'm going to go ahead and um, change the camera angle a little bit and start out with doing the light blue in the corner blowing it out or spreading it out one and then I'm just going to start adding color and you may hear me talk or you may just hear music I haven't decided <laughs> so thanks for stopping in if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then hit the subscription button that helps my channel as well uh, set the bell to all so then you get a, a notification like an email notification that tells you when I post a new video and I have been very lax on posting new videos so you won't get a lot of notifications from me but that's because I'm working on a very large furniture project I also do refinishing of furniture and I'm doing a dining room table four chairs and a buffet for my neighbor so it seems like I've been working that on that all summer and the weather and the humidity has really slowed me down because you can't use varnish when it's really humid so this morning when I woke up it was 73 degrees and I went woohoo and jumped in my clothes and ran down the street 
so it's in her uh, detached garage so I don't bother them but um, I just went down and put a coat of varnish on it and I can go back in 10 minutes and put a second coat on so I'm gonna do this now and then go back and work on that so stay tuned okay I'm back and the first thing I'm gonna do is put the light blue up here and I don't know why but I am very nervous usually it doesn't bother me this is actually a scraped canvas isn't anything wrong with it but I did get a little smudge of paint on it when I when I uh, scraped it so and I want you to know that I did do my leveling both directions and I used these feet got them on Amazon so I put them in with push pins on the corners and then I can adjust for height and they work really well so let me give myself a little bit more room okay and we'll get started so here goes the light blue now so I think this whole thing needs to be filled in with the light blue and I did not paint my sides because I thought well I will just use my spray bottle my squirt bottles to cover my edges sorry if you're just getting the head shot now my hair dryer this is little Flo look how little she is just just itty bitty but very powerful so I'm gonna try this on low I should have mixed white to make it a little bit lighter ah what the heck okay so I really think I need to start with the dark colors I'm gonna save that turquoise to this Payne's gray might as well just get rid of this This is the Prussian Blue Phalo by Amsterdam. And you can see that it's really kind of the same, same color. Can't really tell them apart. this is the phalo turquoise so it, and, and look at that it is coming out pretty darn close to the other colors but I can see a, a difference and then I don't have wait this is phalo turquoise in case I got that wrong and this is the phalo blue artist loft I'm just going to put a little bit of that in it seems to be kind of dark or bright of course I I want it bright Let's see what happens with that one. 
And I am going to go ahead and just use this iridescent blue-green. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And I can just put a little bit in there. And it'll probably just be smothered by the other paints. This is um, Turquoise by Artist Loft. Yes. And I want some of the dark up there. So I've got to get the it's not open all the way, so it's not. And my white. I like to do a little bit of white. I know how waves are really frothy. And I believe that they're really show their frothy side right up in here and maybe down here. And I'm just going to put a couple stripes like that. So, what do you think? I certainly should have enough paint on there. Better move the calculator. Even though I mixed my paints last night, there's still a lot of bubbles in it. And then I did shake some of them. The ones that I didn't mix. Okay. Look at that white. Just completely disappeared right there. Oh, come on. Got to open it first. Alright. Let's just see what this happens with this. Here we go.
forgot to give you a close-up. I did scrape my sides. There's my stick. Scraped all the underside. And here is the wave. I'll start at the bottom of the wave. I got some nice cells. No silicone used. This is from the um, different paint brands. that I love this up here the way it comes around I don't like that line but I'm probably blow on it a little bit I like how the crest turned out I like how everything turned out it looks like a stormy wave on a blue sky that makes no sense right just beautiful well thanks don't forget, come back and paint with me. Bye. I thought I'd show you the dry results. Everything dried beautifully. I was really worried about that. It seemed like there was a lot of paint on there. Now, when I step back here, I want to show you, if I can find my finger, this right here this 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 you can see how um, shiny that is metallic it is that's my only regret I think is that when I stand back and I look at this wave that it has that color in it it's just a little distracting and takes away from the 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 my effort for a real you know wave because I don't I just don't see that being part of a wave but um, and I believe that is the uh, color from Pebio and I love that color but I don't think it belonged in the in the wave. Although it looks just fine with it in there. It's just my personal preference. I don't think that I would do that again. And I am going to try and do another one. My friend and I tried to do one again last night. And there is the scraped canvas. <laughs> uh, we were just trying to recreate a real wave, like a pipeline wave. But I'm not an artist, so I just can't seem to get that part. So, I'm going to take this as a win. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope everybody likes it. I am proud, to say the least. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up and come back and paint with me. Bye.